Welcome back everyone to this series called Mistakes Newbies Make for Heroes of the Storm. This series discusses various misplays that new players to the game commonly make. Now this is not meant to be a rule list, so if you have a good reason to be doing something that I say is a mistake, then you likely aren't a newbie anymore, so of course, there's always exceptions. That being said, these following plays are more often mistakes than not. Let's start off by talking about the Dragon Knight. First off, I think people are valuing the Dragon Knight too highly in the early game. And to be completely honest, too highly in general. I think that controlling the shrines and merc camps are much more important for this map. If you control bot with two and one roaming farming character, you can stop the enemy team from getting the Dragon Knight, while at the same time pushing with mercs. You are close to three merc camps too, so you do not have to travel far to roam. For this reason, I think it's a good strategy to focus on controlling the bottom shrine and not worry too much about if you're able to activate the dragon or not. I'm not saying to ignore it by any means, as it can push down an entire fort if played correctly, but so can a good merc push. But when you do finally activate the dragon knight, I still see players making simple mistakes. The biggest one being attacking minions and players instead of attacking towers and forts. The dragon does huge huge amounts of damage to buildings, so that should be your main focus. I also often see players stay way too longer than they should. Too often their teammates won't be around or low on health, so try to watch your health and retreat back to a safe area before the dragon dies. If you are not the dragon knight, then you should be focusing on players since they will be focusing on the giant monster that is knocking down their walls, and you can easily pick up kills this way. The next topic I would like to quickly discuss is movement. If you would like to attack something as soon as you see it, you can move your character with key button A rather than clicking with your mouse. This will cause your hero to attack the first enemy seen all the way to the point where you clicked. So you can also move your hero by holding shift and then clicking. This maps a path out where you want your hero to go. The most common way I use this trick is when I drink from a fountain. It saves a second and you can get back to the battle quicker. You can even shift A move so if the enemy is seen in the path you set, you'll start attacking it. Next I want to go through a couple examples of subtle mistakes that are made. And this example is one I do a bit more often than I like to admit, and that's not paying attention. As you will see in this clip from my stream, I'm not paying attention here and it results in my death. I was too busy watching what my teammates were doing and not my own character. Try to avoid going on autopilot and only check on your teammates rather than watching the entire battle. Additionally, just think if I would have used A moving instead. I would have ended up in front of the enemy's minions rather than going all the way to where I clicked. Maybe I would have survived. I'm not sure, but it's definitely worth noting. I don't really have a clip for this mistake, so we'll have to use our imagination. Imagine you are low on health and trying to run away from an enemy hero. You're running and you're clicking as fast as you can, and you do this. This happens when you click the minimap, and the only thing that I can say to help is to be aware that the minimap is there and try to not click around that area when running in that direction. After you die enough times, you'll start to remember to not click there when running away. Definitely a frustrating mistake though. Here's another simple one. When attacking a merc camp with your teammate, be sure to attack the same merc so you or your teammate do not take as much damage. If both are alive, they both are attacking, so try to focus on one to defeat it, then go on to the next enemy. Your teammate will thank you. Last, I really want to emphasize how important team play, utilizing mercs, and a group push is in this game. Too often still, people are playing this game Let's like League with one person in each lane and think it is all about kills. Take a look at this clip from ZPTV, which you can find the entire video in the description. In this game, their team played with four heroes top and one bot. When the enemies went into the mine, ZP's team used some mercs to push down the first fort, the second fort, and yes, then won the game with that single push. This shows the power of a five-man push with mercs backing your team up, and it's power that must be respected. Don't make the mistake of underestimating the ability for a whole team to push to win. Remember, this game is mostly about objectives. You can be two levels and 25 kills down, but still come back and win the game. It is not like League where the other team has a huge advantage, so they snowball into an easy victory. If you play smart, you should win. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to subscribe for the next episode where I go through mistakes newbies make for stitches. Also, go ahead and follow my Twitch while you're at it. Thanks for watching.